Today is the day high school basketball teams dream of playing on every single year. It's state championship Saturday, and we had three teams from the west side of the state looking to bring home the crown. In Division I, Muskegon took on Cast Tech in the state championship game as the Big Reds make their trip back to the state championship for the first time since 2014. These schools are known for their powerhouse football programs, but today it was all about hoops. End of the first quarter, Justin Watson brings the hot sauce. He beats the buzzer. However, Muskegon trailed 41-31 at halftime. Muskegon legend Khalil Pimpleton is in the building. After the break, after not making one basket in the first half, Jordan Briggs heats up, scoring eight straight points for the Big Reds to get Muskegon within striking distance. Then in the third quarter, Muskegon takes the lead for the first time since the first quarter as Justin Watson buries the triple in the corner. It's 47-45 Muskegon. However, the technicians then ramp it up and the Big Reds could not answer. Cast Tech takes down Muskegon after a big fourth quarter as they defeat the Big Reds 78-63 in the Division I State Championship. We accomplished, accomplished a lot in this year. I'm very proud of every person that stepped on the court, played our hard day in, day out. So that's all you can ask for. This season uh, meant a lot to me, you know. My guys, I'm, uh, unfortunately I won't be able to play with them anymore, but you know, I think the next team in the offseason will make a run here, and I'm just thankful to be here. Muskegon loses three seniors to graduation, but will return a strong nucleus for a run next year. Meanwhile, in Division Four, Mark Keeler's Tri-Unity Defenders look to go back-to-back -back and win a state championship for the second straight year. The Defenders are playing on championship Saturday for the third year in a row, while Munising is in East Lansing all the way from the UP. Tri-Unity Christian controlled the action for the majority of the first quarter, as Roy Fogg knocks it down from the corner of downtown. The Mustangs led for the majority of the game, but the defenders make a comeback. Jordan Van Klompenberg connects from deep. He hit three triples and led Tri-Unity with 15 points. Defenders are within one. In the fourth, bad pass by the Stangs, and Fogg is right there to take the ball away and score on the other end. Tri-Unity is up 30-29, to their first lead since the first quarter. However, Munising wasn't going away that easily. Coley Trachek nails the dagger from deep, and Tri-Unity falls in the D4 state title game, 39-37. I love this team more than anything. Our, my class is really good, and I think we'll be a great team next year, and hopefully we'll be back in the same spot and end up winning, but it, it just sucks. I'm just really proud of them. I'm really proud of the way they played. They gave their very best. It's tough to watch them cry. I tell them, quit crying. I don't want you to cry because it impacts me so much. <laughs> but uh, because I love them. I love what they've done, and I'm really proud of them. Tough finish. The defenders will return much of this year's team next season. Three seniors will leave as they graduate high school. And of course, we are still waiting on one more state title game with a high school from West Michigan. South Christian will look to win the state title after not appearing at the Breslin Center in 18 years. This group of sailors definitely knows what it takes to win. A good portion of them won the football state title in the fall. And of course, we will have those highlights at 11. That's all the time we have for sports. Michael has your final forecast when we come back.